So everybody's been telling you the good thing about Lake Nono. In this video, we're gonna talk about the bad. You know why? Because no one talks about the bad. And I think you should know every single thing about Lake Nona. That way you can make the ultimate decision if Lake Nona's a great place for you to move to or not. And if not, that's okay. So let's go ahead and go through them. The first one is gonna be the cost of living in Lake Nona. A lot of people have said it in my comments before that Lake Nona is super expensive and it's not worth living there because of how much it costs. Now, you're gonna see homes, as at the time of recording this video, somewhere between 500,000 all the way up to the millions. And so with that being said, that does play into what we're talking about, that it's pretty expensive to purchase. Not only that, you have townhomes that are becoming almost unaffordable. The area is vibrant, it's beautiful, and it's in constant development. And not necessarily a bad thing that it's expensive, but it's something that you need to keep in mind if it's a place you're thinking about moving to. Hey, I'm gonna stop the video real quick and I'm gonna just let you know that Hey, I'm actually a realtor, go figure. And here I am telling you the negative things about Lake Nona. But if you do like Lake Nona and it's an area you are thinking about moving to, it still is a great area. If you'd like, you can reach out to us. You could call, text, email us. We have it all down in the description. That's what we're here for. And I'm gonna put out more content on Lake Nona. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can learn as much as you can about the area. That way you can make the ultimate decision if that is where you want to be here in the Central Florida area. Let's talk about probably one of the biggest complaints in the comments section, and that's traffic. I created another video on like a, of an honest review of the area. I'll put it up here, but don't touch it yet. Let's go through the rest of the bad. You come back and click on it later. But in any case, they're in, in the comments section. We have so many complaints about the traffic and here's why. The only way to get to the several neighborhoods that are in Lake Nona is down Narcuzzi. So that is a potential issue of the area. Not only that, you have the 417, which is a highway, it's more on the backside of Lake Nona. And that has been in development recently and they've really done a good job on the infrastructure of the highway to keep the volume of traffic low but Narcusi is one of those animals where you're probably gonna have issues during peak hours, 5.30, 6 o'clock, and then also during school because there are two schools located right off of Narcusi. So just something to consider if you're thinking about moving there is traffic is not the best in Lake Nona yet, but there are future plans to get a extension off of the 417. They still lack a sense of community that the older neighborhoods have, like Winter Park, Winter Garden. You'll If you go to downtown Winter Garden or Park Ave on Winter Park, you'll see like that old historical charm. You won't see that Lake Nona might not be a great option and maybe you won't like it because of that. And that's why a lot of times people complain about new established areas because they're just used to being around that old historical charm or that's something that they like in particular. And so that's one of the biggest complaints that we hear when moving to Lake Nona is that it's just not established quite yet, but it will come soon. And there's a lot of things out on the horizon to be built. And it has a lot of great future opportunities. And if you're willing to wait for that, it will definitely be worthwhile, I'm sure. One of the biggest problems, not just in Lake Nona, but really in Orlando, is there's a lot of limited public transportation. I haven't seen a bus stop in the area, honestly, at all. And so that could be an issue for individuals that maybe use the commuting systems here in the Central Florida area. And so that's why I guess Lake Nona wouldn't be a good fit if you're thinking about public transportation. I know a lot of New Yorkers and people that are used to a public transportation system, people from Chicago, maybe Philadelphia, places that have subways, Lake Nona doesn't have that at all. So that might be a hindrance to what you may consider as a great community, which can bring potential issues if, you, if you're looking forward to maybe somewhere of a more walkable area. Now, Lake Nona does have a small town feel when it comes to living there. Specifically, Laurier Park does, but more Lake Nona Golf and Country Club is an established neighborhood. 
Then you have aisles of Lake Nona, more of an established neighborhood, not that town feel that Laurier Park has. You have Eagle Creek Golf and Country Club as well, more of a neighborhood. So it's not really like a public transportation kind of area. You might have to consider getting a car. And that's just for all of Central Florida. Everything's far away from everything. And what do I mean by that? It's like a 30 to 45 minute commute in most cases, but we are working on things like the sun that has helped with a lot of transportation, taking people from one side of Orlando to the other and even cutting through downtown, but it doesn't hit like Nona. So that's why when you're considering like Nona, make sure you look and see if that is gonna be a hindrance to you moving there or not. One thing with population growth, especially in such a vibrant community like Lake Nona, is things that you see in any popular area is a whole bunch of students going to one school, which is gonna force the community to build another school. And so you may have potential overcrowding in certain schools until they're able to develop another school. And that may lead to lack of education and things of that nature. So that's something that could be of a concern to you. Definitely look up on niche.com or even type into chat GPT, which I've done before to help you look up the school systems and see how they are. But Lake Nona overall have pretty good school systems, but that's just something to think about with a, a developing area like Lake Nona. It is in constant development and uh, it's just something to think about. Definitely if you if you have kids that are gonna be attending school here in the Central Florida area. One thing that we really haven't talked about is something that everybody pays here in Orlando, which is HOA fees in established communities like Lake Nona. Lake Nona definitely has HOA fees in most of the communities, actually all of the communities, and they even have something called CDD, which is Community Development District, and what that is, bonds that are taken out to develop the area, and they are within a 30 to 50 year period and it's usually charged through your taxes. So if you're looking at taxes, you're like, whoa, the taxes here are super expensive. It's not that they're expensive. It's just they threw an extra fee called a CDD on top of them, or it, it can be in form of a monthly payment on top of your HOA. So that's an extra fee as well. And sometimes it could be anywhere from hundred plus dollars, just depending on your home. So it's just something else to throw on top of the HOA fee as well. So we always look at these communities. Most of the new construction in Orlando has this CDD fee in most cases, but there are a lot of places that don't. So if that is a hindrance to your qualifications for maybe a bigger home somewhere else, that can definitely affect you in the buying process. So that is probably one of the bad things about Lake Nona. And it's something that you're gonna have to pay until that bond is all paid up. So let's say the community is established for 10 years and there's a 30 year bond. You only have 20 years left to pay on that bond. So it's not a perpetual thing, but it's just something to think about because it's added expenses to live in a, such a, an amazing area and vibrant community. I think one of the last things we could discuss about Lake Nona is the high expectations for future growth. And so let's say for instance, Lake Nona's, hey, we're gonna develop this area for this purpose. It could take longer than expected and then may leave people disappointed if it's not up to their expectations. So since it's such a new community, you may run into these issues more than once. I think a good example of this was Disney was supposed to build a corporate office in Lake Nona, and then they backed out. That would have brought a whole bunch of Disney employees to the actual area that were moving from California to Central Florida, but then they changed their mind. So that in change created a disappointment in the community because they really wanted that to help bring up the home values and help establish the community at a, in a high regard because such a big company was coming to Lake Nona. So that's why developments can change and ideas can change throughout the years and can leave people disappointed. So that could be a potential downside if you're looking forward to, let's say, maybe a huge mall or shopping center, which is not even that close to, to Lake Nona. 
it can take up to half an hour to get to the closest shopping mall. So that could be a potential downside if they decide not to go through with that. It's just something else to think about in the back of your mind when moving there that you're at the time of this video being recorded, you may have to travel for certain things that you want. And that's okay if you're willing to wait, maybe plans change in the infrastructure of building out the community. I really hope you guys love this video. I really appreciate you guys staying here till the end to understand, you know, why maybe it might not be a good idea to move to Lake Nona, but if you enjoyed this video and you made it to the end, which not all of you are making it to the end, as you can see here on the screen, I really appreciate it because a lot of you are watching my videos. If you guys like, feel free to reach out to me. My no phone number's in the description. You can call, text, or email us. We can help you move to Lake Nona if you need it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care.